I, um, I studied psychology and management and that sort of put me on the road of trying myself in very different places across business, starting from HR and going through sales and product management. Uh, and now I'm a data analyst uh, at Google. Uh, I work at the uh, cybersecurity department. It's, um, it's really fun and really interesting. Thibaut. Yeah, and so my background is I'm a computer scientist, but then eventually went more on the business side. So I've been quite early into the fintech scene and to the startup scene in Europe into the early 2010 when we had the first startup weekend. And lately I've spent the last three years and a half with a company called Six, which is running the uh, Swiss and Spanish stock exchange, among other things, and helping the company into the innovation activities. And then having been like a lot into the fintech scene, uh, we were just following the activities. And then at some point, the um, first course, uh, which was, I think, called initially around fintech in eight hours, which is now the, I mean, the fintech foundation came up. And we, um, I mean, I saw with my, the, my team in Warsaw, like the amazing lineup of experts. And I was like, that seems like a very interesting thing going on and should take it. But there was one thing, which was I've been already quite a long time into the fintech scene, so it would be a bit hard for me to um, judge the quality because it was designed for beginners. And then I went to see Alenka and yeah. I asked her if she would be up for to take it with me. So, and for me, I've been dating Thibaut for a couple of years and he would always talk of startups and fintech and blockchain and whatever not. And I liked the topic, I understood part of it, but I really wanted to, actually I was curious to understand more, to properly understand like what he's talking about and what his friends are talking about. So I decided to tag along. No, yeah, I, I remember that the thing which struck me was very much the fact that it's the type of course that I would love to have had five years earlier, basically, when I was starting my FinTech journey, um, because before the FinTech Foundation course, like it was knowledge all over the place and we just had to learn by meeting startups, but there was no clear structure on how to look at FinTech. And that's what I really loved into the, the first course when we took it back then. Like, let's say, learning more about the world of um, FinTech and the foundations and it was an uh, introduction to start to learn and understand more and more uh, in the world of finance. I used to think it was a boring place, but actually you can have some uh, some fun stuff there. I think, uh, so the, 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 the part that I love with FinTech is how dynamic it is. But if I'm also being honest, it's at the, at the same time, I've been at the heart of FinTech for almost a decade now. And sometimes I'm just like, whoa, what's going on? Because like so many things are moving and, and especially in the last three years where I've spent my time much closer to the traditional finance, it's just realizing with all the many, all the many initiatives going all around the world into so many different subsector of FinTech or financial services, there are times where it almost feels overwhelming, I have to admit. Um, but this overwhelming also makes it fascinating because you never get bored. Yeah, I think CFT, so first of all, the continuous learning offered so easily with top quality expert is, is incredible. I mean, it's incredible to be able to access this nowadays, which simply wouldn't have been possible 20 years ago. Um, and then having visited the office seems to be like a fun team. Uh, so fun, clearly learning all the time, launching NFT and Tigers, so pretty cool place. I think for me, what really, really stays from the course, and we did it a few years ago, is uh, um, such a high quality, well-structured um, knowledge. That I really connect CFT with that. And, uh, and also I think it's something that makes uh, finance a bit more cool. Uh, so. True. Yes, CFT makes finance a bit more cool. Okay, so Alenka is um, geeky in a good way, loving to do board games and reading some good fantasy books. So geeky, dreamy, 
is also also co continuously dreaming of um, better things, better life, and um, a better life for people around her too. And um, and friendly. She's a very friendly um, person. To have I would say responsible comes first. He's very responsible, which is lucky for me. Um, then caring. He's very caring both personally and professionally about this incident. Um, and, um, and the third word would be the visionary. Uh, I think he knows about things that are going to happen like before anyone speaks of them and it's, uh, it's always proven very useful.